Go ahead and introduce yourselves. All right, my name is Nick Ramsey. I was the curator for the show Transformation Art and Poetry as part of my 2013 to 2015 Racine County Poet Laureate tenure. And this is? Robert Osborne. Um, my wife and I run the Osborne and Second Family Foundation. And, uh, we funded the production of the book to um, help make it happen along with so why was it important for you to be involved with this project? Um, kind of, what was the hook? Well, we saw the show and we were just so impressed by the, by the talent. Um, and it was also the fact that there was uh, artists and writers coming together. and So we really liked the idea of the collaboration in the arts community. And you know, we saw um, this wasn't just you know a group show, it was actually... Uh, poets and artists working together, interacting, getting to know each other, and you know, we got the Racine Arts Council was involved, and, um, Jessica Schaefer helped produce the book, and she's involved with Ram, and used the same photographer Ram uses, so was all kinds of people from the community got involved in this, um, you know, we'd love to see things like this happen more in the future, if uh, there's other great shows like this. Yeah. So who all was involved within the project again? Do you know about how many artists? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. It was 12 poets and 12 artists, all from the Racine, Kenosha area. Um, and then there was, you know, the lady who did the design here, Susan Larkin, John Bolton, who did the photography for the artwork, Jessica, who was part of the show, but she also did the design layout. And then, you know, there's just numerous other people that helped with the process. So what's kind of the personality of this book? Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, it's definitely not a new idea. Um, it was just using a formula that was already you know, previously been used with pairing poets and artists together um, in the past. And so what I did was basically look at some of my favorite artists. I made this huge spreadsheet of all like my favorite artists and all my favorite poets. And then I narrowed it down to like represent a good population of you know, not only young or older or more established or kind of amateur um, poets and artists and you know also different you know different backgrounds too so we have everything from glass blowing and metal sculptures and you know, paint and stuff like that to you know poetry that is stream of conscious some that's real like you know educated like academic stuff and so I would say like the scope of everything it's just a huge variety the first half of the book um, poetry comes first and the artwork was inspired by the poetry, so the artwork was created after reading the poetry. The second half um, was vice versa, so the artwork came first, and then the poetry was created from interpreting the artwork. So this is a huge amalgamation of talent. I think it's also kind of a fun book, especially if you read the introduction. Yeah. Um, she did a good job just talking about the ideas. Yeah, so shout out to Anja, not Anja Seeger, from uh, the past Fister Hotel narrator in residence for writing the introduction to the book from an outsider's perspective on looking at it. Yeah. So, yeah. so where can people get the book? Racine Arts Council. So soft cover copies are at the Racine Arts Council for $40 plus tax. They are super professional looking, high quality everything. Um, and all the money that's raised goes back to... Uh, goes back to funding projects uh, at the Arts Council, supporting the Arts Council and uh, their mission and bringing the different uh, elements together. All right, anything else you want to add? Um, I think so. Thank you for purchasing it um, and thank you for supporting the literary arts, the visual arts, and all the different arts in our community. And even if you're not going to purchase one, stop in at the Arts Council. There's now a little book nook where you can purchase other types of books and uh, at least look through it because I think you'll be amazed by the variety of talent in there. And much love to Racine County Eye. <laughs> Alright, well that's a great note to end on. Thanks!